first do speaks to pre-DVT testing. Pre-DVT testing is especially important with respect to new protocols. Protocols should be reviewed to determine if there are any unknown issues with the protocol, the product, or test equipment. Any one of these could cause a protocol failure and formal DVT testing is not the place to uncover these type of problems. The second do reviews product sample size. Books have been written on the subject of DVT sample size, but each project seems to have a particular issue, be it costly samples, limited production runs, multiple product types, different software versions, etc. The main point is that the sample size, where possible, should be based on statistically valid rationale or an industry standard. And this rationale should be documented in the DVT test plan and the protocol. Sterile products are a different issue. We would suggest contacting the FDA to discuss your proposed sample size. The third issue discusses protocol revisions on released DVT protocols. Performing pre-DVD testing is one way to minimize the need to change revisions on protocols. Once a protocol is formally released, changing the revision during a concurrent series of DVT tests could be interpreted as a test-to-pass change. So it's critical that the initial test results be documented in a report and that these results be referenced in all subsequent reports 